Number eight, why don't hydroxide ions appear in equations for half reactions occurring in acidic solution? Okay. So basically, they're reverting back to talking about balancing an equation in a acidic solution. Now they're they're saying that we have a half reaction, so we don't even have a full, you know, full-blown balanced equation in an acidic solution. But basically a half reaction just means that you know, you would have maybe let's just say nitrite, right? And this goes to nitrate. Now, when you balance an equation like this in an acidic solution, keep in mind that an acidic solution means that you have to have H pluses. Hydroxide ion is the OH minus. And generally speaking, hydroxide ions are basic. So when you do balance these equations in acidic solutions, you will end up with H pluses in your half reactions. You would always balance the oxygens first. Now, if you need help with acidic solutions before we even dive into this, there's tons of review questions on this playlist um, that goes into balancing acidic solutions and basic solutions. So this is going to kind of be like a quick overview, but you would you would add your oxygens that you needed, right? One plus two oxygens is three oxygens total. In acidic solutions, you add them as water. And then because you have two H pluses, you will have to add two H pluses on this side. Since you have two hydrogens, you add two H pluses. Those are in the rules of balancing in acidic conditions. And then you, um, then you balance the charges, right? That you balance the electrons. I'm not going to really get into that because that doesn't really answer the question here, but you would have to add, let's see, if I just do this quick, this would be an overall negative one charge, negative one and two. So plus one, negative one. So you would need to add two electrons on this side, just, just to have the full blown acidic half reaction. But the thing here is that here is your H plus. And just know that in, in an acidic solution, your concentration of your H pluses is so much greater than your concentration of hydroxide. That's what makes an acidic solution. So in essence, there's two answers here. In acidic solutions, you don't even see a hydroxide here. And since your OH minus concentration is so less than your H plus, this is basically, you know, non-existent. It's so small, it's, you know, basically zero. So any type of hydroxide that you have, the H plus is going to eat it up and turn it into water. So everything that I've basically stated and to show an example of having H pluses and not OHs, is basically sums up this answer here. So I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you out in future questions. Take care, bye-bye.